Come quietly or there will be trouble. The Robocop gun was probably one of the most iconic guns ever made, and KSC seemed to have managed to reproduce it in all of its glory. Long barrel, futuristic, and oh, did I mention full auto? Thank you for not smoking. You guys ready to see it? Hi guys, it's Mark here and here it is, the brand new KSC Auto 9, fresh from the movie screens, most noticeably from the 1987 movie Robocop. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this is a brand new gun, but loyal viewers of our channel might have seen this gun maybe a little while ago. Does anybody know when was the last time this gun was on screen? Six years ago, back in 2010, Arclight made a video showcasing this gun. It is one of our older videos, and if you want to watch it in full, you can go ahead and click right here on the screen. The Auto 9 has recently been brought back to life after a six year hiatus, being first produced back in the late 90s. When I was much younger, I've always wanted to own this gun. Now that I'm here, let's go over how it looks and feels. From the feel, it's plasticky. I mean, it's Japanese, so that's expected but it's very high quality plastic and it feels great in your hand. This gun does have some length, so it's by no means a short pistol, as you can see next to a Nighthawk GRP. I guess the most important thing is how it feels when it shoots. And for that, let's go check in with my good buddy Quake. Let's go. So I'm gonna give this to you and you're gonna try it out. Let us know how it feels and then we'll go back and tell the viewers. All right, I'm gonna hang out right here and I'll wait for you to come back. Um, keep my eye for a while. Thank you for not smoking. Dude! So, how'd it feel? I guess it was good? I still can't believe you shot at me. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I guess I will do the shooting test. May I have the gun, please? Thank you, Quake. Let's go shoot it. So, for the accuracy test, we're gonna shoot a cigarette out of Jim Bob's mouth. Single fire first, let's go. A little bit low, a little bit high. Got it. That was pretty good. With the plastic slide, the cycling was actually pretty fast and the recoil was directly straight back at me. So it made the gun relatively easy to control. And with the long gun and the long sight picture, it made it easy for me to keep my sight picture on the cigarette the whole time. So let's go into full auto now, shall we? Man, that was some full auto action. That was pretty good. The full auto, again, with the plastic slide being light and with the fast recoil, it made it very manageable shooting down range. And as you can see, it didn't take me a lot of shots to explode that cigarette out of Jim Bob's mouth. So, in conclusion, it's a fun gun to shoot. I really can't complain. The Auto 9 is also a select fire gun with two firing modes. You can see it with full auto on the bottom and semi-automatic fire on the top. Its safety switch is here. Safety on, safety off. You will find the hop up right there. You can adjust the hop up with the hop up key, as you can see here, that comes with every gun. To adjust the hop up, remove the magazine, insert the hop up key, and adjust for more or less hop. We use green gas and 0.2 gram BBs to calibrate this gun, and the average FPS is about 315. So no doubt the KSC Auto 9 has inspired the hearts and imaginations of a generation. But let us not forget that this gun has took almost a half a decade hiatus. Not to mention that the most recent version of the Robocop remake didn't even feature this iconic gun. Better alive. You're coming with me. There's just no Auto 9. If you also like full auto pistols, check out Tim's review of the M712 or Arclight's review of the High Kappa Extreme. 
If you would like a piece of movie memorabilia or a piece of airsoft history, this is an iconic gun everybody should get. And for this gun and many other products, you can head over to our website at www.redwolfairsoft.com. I've been Mark, aka Blue Steel, and I'll see you on the next episode of Red Wolf TV. Have a good one, guys.